working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes. Happy Monday. It's 2.34 p.m. The sun is sunning right now. She came out because I got off work. <laughs> um, I'm literally filming a little... I'm trying to get my, my angle together here because um, I have to film these pants that I was sent. Can you just... So Micah's, which I didn't know, is that girl. Like, price is crazy. The dresses, I have a dress as well. I'm trying to figure out how I want to style it. And right now it's sold out. So I feel like the brand probably wouldn't want me to promote it if it's sold out. But the pants are not sold out. Look how cute these are. They're like Palazzo or something. They have pockets. I got an extra large because <clears throat> your girl's thick right now. And I was kind of nervous that... They would be, you know, fit like tight on the hips and stuff. And they actually fit perfect. Um, and I tried them on without my shaper. I'm going to put my shaper on for the video. So they'll probably fit even nicer with that. Dang. Okay. I just realized that I have to use my, my low waist shaper. So that's what I'm doing. And then I have therapy at three. So I need to hurry up. That's why I'm rushing because I'm trying to get this done. But I'm like, at least if I am ready and I'll just do my therapy session and then finish filming after that. But yeah, I have that to do and then I need to upload the video for this mirror because that's content that's due. And then I also have to do um, the desk chair, but I'm probably going to wait and do that one tomorrow. When And I'm not like, I don't want you guys to think that like my only goal in doing this is to get paid. It's not like I really do enjoy creating and editing and it really is a passion of mine but some money would be would, would make me feel real good it would i would feel real i would feel real confident you yeah. <laughs> um so that's what i'm doing i'm gonna get back to that um i'll leave the camera on for a little bit because i just put a fresh battery in
I'm frustrated. I'm not, I, this is the thing, like, I'm not even in the mood to be getting cute right now, like, this is why I want to get paid for this shit, like, it just doesn't make sense to do this for fucking free, and I'm not in the fucking mood, you know, like, I don't like my makeup, I don't like any of this shit right now, but I have to fucking do it, you know, and, and, and what did I get, some free fucking pants, like, I'm over it. That shit did not come out the way I wanted it to. My hair looks fucking stupid. I have therapy now, so. I'm hella frustrated. I emailed me like three times where you're like, is the video done? No. First of all, I was sick for a fucking week. The week that this clothes came, which is when I was gonna... Like, I had time off. I had three fucking days in a row. I was feeling good. Well, I thought I would be feeling good. All I know is that if I cry, during this therapy session, this video is not gonna get filmed today. <laughs> because I already don't like my makeup. Because I just added more on top of it, you know? Like I didn't redo it because I'm not doing all that shit right now. But. I really, 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 really want to get filler under my eyes because my, like, the lines and the circle, like, the dark circles, it just makes me feel so insecure about how my makeup looks. Like, I feel like my makeup just fucking sits in the lines and it looks cakey as fuck. Let me see when my period is coming because I'm frustrated. <laughs> Makes sense. Four fucking days away. Yeah, I need to. Mm -hmm. We're going to see how I feel after this session because I'm all right to how we're staying in this. Um, they're all right. I would say same, not any better or worse. You're it's it's hard for me cuz I'm such an empath. I'm such a see both sides type of person and you know how would i feel if that was me type of thing so i just i i don't mesh with people who aren't like that like i i just usually it's going with your stress your stress was at a 25 when we started and now it's at an 18. oh wow which is like and i mean last time we talked well the beginning of the 10th it was at a 40 ultimately probably because of the some situation right yeah but, yeah i mean it's in that like getting lower which is awesome yeah and mental well-being was at a lower 37 and now it's up to a 42 so that's growing like um and then i'm i guess they haven't checked your conversation we will never have and i know that you know, i don't want to say never because you, you know anything is possible but I, the way I'm here stressing myself out and trying to figure out how to have a relationship with my son, my parents could be doing that with me. Exactly. You know? Yeah. So, I, to yeah. me, there's no excuse. I've held myself accountable for the things I did with my son that shouldn't have been done and the decisions I made that times I put things ahead of him and I, you know, I, I was misguided or whatever. And that's why I'm so adamant about wanting to do better for him and be better for him, you know? And that's... My mom, I, especially my mom, I know that's never going to happen, so. <laughs> so it's like, I should just let that go, you know? And you Hi, guys. Happy Thursday. Oh, my hair is tight. Um, today drained me. <laughs> it's been like, I don't know, I guess there's just been changes going on in my job, and it is like... I don't want to do too much yakking because you guys got the vlog last week, which was over an hour long, and then I dropped the chit chat video. So 
today it's thursday i don't really have the energy to do much beyond what you see right now i do need to film content but i'm gonna wait until tomorrow because tomorrow i'll get off at 12 30. so my plan for today is to chill i'm gonna try to get me some sleep i have not been sleeping and i don't know what like i literally woke up last night and i, I didn't woke up like i was tossing and turning and i think i fell asleep for like 10 minutes and then i I was like, I don't even want to look at the time because I already know it's not going to be like, it's going to be fucking early. That means I didn't even sleep nothing. And it was true. So I tossed and turned and I was crying because I just was so frustrated. Like, why can't I fall asleep? I'm so tired. I don't get it. So I'm going to actually work out today. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to start doing like two to three times a week, you know, slow baby steps. That's what I've been doing with everything else. Just slowly introducing things it's been two weeks two weeks since i smoked weed so good on me for that and that's not like a permanent like i'm not like stopping weed it's just i was smoking it too much it makes me lazy and unproductive like all this that i've gotten done around here i would have not gotten done if i was smoking i promise you so I want it to be recreational and social like oh if I'm going on a trip or we're going out whatever oh you want to hit yeah like I'll take a little puff and just whew, get the edge off whatever and have a good time but I don't want to be dependent on it. I think I talked about this before so I think that might be why I'm not sleeping so good I don't know this salad is so good um so tomorrow yeah, I'm off at 12 30 and then I don't have to work until 7 on Saturday so that's gonna be a good you know little in between break mm. I have a dress that I need to do a video but I really want to get a pair of thigh high boots and I remember buying a pair from rainbow years ago like back in like 20 18 19 and I could not find them boots nowhere and they were basic like faux suede but they had the strings so they were stretchy so they fit over my big ass thighs and I'm like and then that they had like a perfectly high enough heel that it were comfortable to walk and I used to be in the club all night long and then boots <laughs> so I'm trying to find a pair so that I can pair them with this dress that I have it's so pretty and I want to do like a cute look like a I don't know a fake valentine's day look because i ain't doing shit on valentine's day i think me and michaela are gonna have a galentine's day thing i think we, we're gonna either go out or we're gonna cook like you know make dinner for each other whatever and be cute i'm not sure but i'm gonna insert the inspo pick of what i want to do with my hair and makeup for valentine's day i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to work that day so that great outfit that i got from tiktok shop i'm getting it in pink so I plan to wear that with my hair up. Cute little pink bow. Even though it's fuck Valentine's Day. <laughs> no. If you're in love and you got somebody that love you. And you know that they're going to do something cute for you on Valentine's Day. I'm genuinely happy for you. For real. Because this time last year I got flowers. I got roses on Valentine's Day. And it was the first time that I've ever gotten anything genuinely from someone. My ex-husband would do little stupid shit buy me things that i didn't like that had nothing to do with me they did not align with my personality at all it was very much like oh i just got you this shit so you know you shut up type of shit like don't don't give me anything just just forget it so a little bit of a change from last year like i That shit was just not fair to me like i don't understand how you could see somebody like really like developing feelings for you and you know you're playing them like you know you're not being honest you're not being genuine like how do y'all do that i don't get it this nigga got me flowers he got me a dozen roses on valentine's day we like i spent every night at his house and he had somebody else the whole time how do you do that like mentally you know like them niggas is lost yo that's crazy to me anyway i've already worked all that shit out i'm not i'm just it just baffles me because what yeah so i'm gonna eat 
listen to my podcast episode. I'm going to go through this paperwork stuff that I need to do. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys later. I'll probably record me working out. I need to plug in my headphones, make sure they're charged. Um, I think I'm gonna work out later, like maybe in like two hours because I'm trying to like really exhaust myself so that I'm really tired to go to bed tonight because I really need to sleep. I didn't go to bed, I didn't like fall asleep till probably after midnight last night. And I'm just, honestly, I'm too old. I'm too far up in age to be not getting a full eight hours of sleep. Like I deserve to get eight hours of sleep, so. I'm gonna work really hard on fixing this because <laughs> mama's tired, okay? So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. <sighs> Hi guys, happy Friday. <clears throat> I am absolutely exhausted. Like, I didn't do anything I said I was gonna do yesterday. <laughs> no, I did, I made dinner, I just didn't work out because I ended up falling asleep, like I took a nap and I did lay here like with the intent to hopefully fall asleep, but this shit really happened. And <laughs> um, so when I woke up, I just made some dinner. I made spaghetti and I don't know, maybe I already said this. I don't even know where I am, but I think I got my period. I don't know if it's here or if it's gonna come tonight, but it's, that's the reason I'm so tired. Like. Anyway, I am uh, eating some leftover spaghetti and I just posted an Instagram post. So if you follow me on the gram, you see that I just posted a new before and after because we were having a discussion on my Instagram stories last night about surgery and stuff. And that's a topic that I mean, most of you that follow me know I had it and you know, that's, you know, kind of where you came from is, you know, that journey, you know, me sharing that journey. Um, but it is something that I kind of want to put a little more of my energy into in 2024 um, is talking about that and just connecting with, you know, that community more because it is literally the reason why I have all of my followers now and like I was able to, you know, build a social media present um is because of sharing my surgery story you know that's what started it all so i'm thinking you know of, of different ways that i can incorporate that into my content and make it you know uh, uh, a more frequent part of you know what i share um so it's 1 17 i got off at 12 30 Today was incredibly busy, incredibly busy. Like, I don't know, it ba it baffles me the way, the the, the volume uh, of people that come into that store. Like, it was just, ugh. Um, but we, we got that shit done. It was an all girl crew today and we ran that shit. Like, it was, it was a good shift. But I think I'm gonna try to take a nap again. Um, I did feel good when I did that yesterday, so I'm, like maybe I can do it again and maybe just for like an hour. And then, I don't know, I'm thinking about having a little photo shoot, but I did just put up a post. So I, maybe I'll wait, I don't know, cause I am off on Sunday and then I'll have, you know, more time. But I have time now because I don't have to wait to work till seven tomorrow, so. And then I only work five hours and then I'm off, so. Anyway, I'll be back later. Hey y'all. So it's a little bit later. I didn't nap. I tried to, I was laying here, but I don't know if it's me and like, I'm just really sensitive to noise or what, or like, I just, I know I complain about it a lot. But like, I just always hear my neighbors and it's like, I come home from work. It's the middle of the fucking afternoon. Like, why are y'all screaming and slamming doors and shit, you know? Anyway, look. Oh, this is proof that I tried to nap. I moved my TV into my bedroom. <laughs> because I was like, if I go back there, um, I can, <clears throat> between the TV and the AC unit, which I don't have the AC on, obviously. I have it on just like the fan blowing air, but you know, it drowns out. You know, I don't really hear much back there. I'd hear banging and stuff, but I mean, that's inevitable. And I've really, I mean, they probably hear me. I don't know. I just, 
It just really feels like it's really loud. But anyway. I'm so glad this came. This is this is a rug from TikTok shop. So if you guys want me to explain to you how I get all of these things and like how the whole thing works, I will. Just let me know in the comments because I know you're probably like, how does this bitch get all this stuff for free? It's a program that they have. Like I have to do my end of the bargain and you know, um, promote the items and stuff. But I mean, that's easy. That's, that's what I do anyway. You know, I do content anyway. So I'm sweating and out of breath because I just walked from the mailbox. I took um, some laundry to the laundry room. I have to wash all of my aprons. So those are washing right now. And then I walked to the mailbox and back. It's not so cold outside. So it was a nice little walk. Um, it's so funny because this came from Amazon, right? And it said that it was going to be delivered at like 240, between 245 and I think 330 or something. And like I went outside not with the intent of like seeing if the rug was here. I really just wanted to walk to my mailbox. And I knew that coming from Amazon, that wasn't going to fit in any of like the Amazon lockers. So I'm like, they'll probably bring it to my door anyway. So I was like, let me walk to the mailbox, see if I got anything in there. I don't. Um, just bills. And I was wa like walking right up to my mailbox and I see the Amazon truck guy there. And um, party was going to ask him like, yo, you got my package? But I was like, whatever, I'll let him go. So I'm walking back to my apartment and it's like a good, like to and from, it takes like a good 10 minutes, right? And um, as I'm walking back, I see him pull up to my building and I see him get out and put the package downstairs on the steps outside the door. So I'm like, I didn't want to make it obvious that I was like rushing, but I was trying to catch up to him because I wanted to tell him like, you need to bring that shit inside because they be snatching packages, right? Luckily, everything that I've gotten recently is really big and heavy. So it'd be hard for somebody to just, you know, but I'm like, so I told him, he was like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know I could go in the door. I'm like, yeah, it's open. Like the downstairs door is unlocked. And then, you know, you come inside. So I was like, it's cool this time, bro, but don't let it happen again. So <laughs> um, I need to set up my tripod really quick here so I can get footage of me unboxing this rug. I hope it looks nice. I'm kind of nervous. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to... um. I really need to get a tripod for my camera. Like I be setting this thing on the most random surfaces. That light back there is from my bathroom window. The sun go is behind my house, my building. So like I'm sitting in front of like the windows are over here that are the front of the complex. That's the back that like that's the bathroom back there. And that's where the sun is. So the sun be like bright as hell right into my bedroom. Like, look at that. <laughs> And then literally the door is only cracked open. So, <sighs> you guys, I'm so exhausted. Like, <sighs> it's already 3.30 and like the way my brain works, I'm like, I can't go to sleep now, bro. I can't. Like, if I go to sleep now, I'm not going to even, and I'm already having trouble sleeping at night. I don't know why that is, but I am. And it's so annoying and frustrating. <sighs> but let me... I just posted on Instagram, well, I didn't just, I told you guys earlier, and I already got 433 likes. So, grateful for that. And if you follow me on Instagram and you saw that I posted today, um, that's the way I'm fucking exhausted. Um, so I have to get to, Hold on. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> um, so for the YouTube partner program, I'm not sure if I've talked about this or not, but I have to get to, and they must have changed this because I used to be monetized um, on YouTube, and I guess they changed their guidelines and now I'm not anymore. So I have every other, um, I have every other guideline except for this one. So I need to have either 3,000 publish, publish, <laughs> P 
public watch hours in the last 365 days, so in the last year, or 3 million public shorts views. You know, shorts is YouTube's version of like TikToks and Reels, right? In the last 90 days, <laughs> 3 million views. Now, my shorts do get a lot of views. Like, I just posted one um, yesterday and it's at 2,000 views. Four comments, hold on. Oh, I already saw these. Um, so yeah, I'm more, I'm going to hit the public watch hours guideline before the shorts because I'm at 1,241 out of 3,000. So that's like pretty much halfway there. Like, and I did that in what, three months maybe that I've been posting on, let's see. Let's see, when is the first time I posted this year? Two months I did that. I mean, I was at three, no, it was less than 300. It was like, I know I have screenshots of it because <laughs> I was just like fascinated at this number going up and up and up. Like, On December 2nd, I took a screenshot and it was at 465 views. It was way less than that. And I, pro I probably deleted those screenshots, but that just shows you December 2nd wasn't that long ago. And I'm clearing these numbers. So that's, that's great. I feel like I'm going to hit the 3,000 pretty soon, like really soon, you know? So that's all, I mean, I have only y'all to thank for that. Like that's, <laughs> that's all y'all just running up my views and I'm so appreciative, like, ah! So let me get this thing set up. This is the one that I have. I was supposed to do a video on this and I missed the deadline and they probably hate me. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like I really wanted to, I just didn't get around to it. Um, But this is cute, like it's okay. It ain't really worth doing a video about. <laughs> I'm sorry like it ain't they didn't really eat with this like it's basic but I need one for my camera that's gonna be the real game changer for me because that's the thing that I need to you know make sure I'm protecting and I don't just set it on surfaces that aren't meant like right now it's literally sitting on a Starbucks cup I'm gonna take a picture of it or a video of it from my phone and include that <laughs> I need to do better, yo, for real. Okay, let's, un oh, I got another comment. Y'all are eating this post up. <laughs> the, bo the, the, the weight loss transformation pics is gonna get them every time. Okay, let's unbox this rug. Hey. Can't focus on
brings the space together. Like it definitely like defines that as the living space, right? What do you think? Oh, that's kind of hard to see. I think I'm definitely getting a bigger TV. Think I think and the word definitely don't go together. <laughs> I either think I am or I'm definitely doing it. But I would like to get a bigger TV. I'm supposed to be getting my taxes, so I'm not getting a lot and I'm trying to do something major with them, but I think I'll have enough to throw um, on a bigger TV. So hopefully it'll kind of, you know, be up a little, take up more of that wall there. And I don't know, guys, I was thinking about getting something other than this coffee table because this couch is low, you know, so like I was thinking something that because like when I'm sitting here, I can't see the fireplace like it blocks it. So I was thinking something where like, maybe like a, what are those things called? Like, like a fabric bench type of thing, but it's like low key a coffee table that you like prop your feet on, but it's a little lower. You know what I'm saying? But I really love this table. I got this off um, Marketplace. I like the rug, guys. What do you think? I kind of love it. Let's see what it looks like when we walk in. Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's 106. I just got home from work. <laughs> What's new? Um, <clears throat> I am about to drink a coldie brew and eat this. So this is a bacon sausage wrap from Starbucks, but I like to like open it up and well, eat it like a baby in pieces um i'm starving i worked 7 to 12 30 today but i worked at a different store and they have different rules so i can't uh have my drink on me or like snack like i do at my store <laughs> so i'm starving and i chugged my oh. I chugged my drink when I first got there because I was like, I already knew. Like, I had a little cup of ice water, and she was like, can you take that in the back? And I'm like, I'll just dump it out. Like, it's fucking water. Like, But, um, so I'm off the rest of the day, obviously, and then I'm off tomorrow. So a nice little break for me because your girl hasn't had a day off since last Sunday, and I'm tired. Matter of fact. Let me look at my hours because I know I cleared them hours this week. That's the downfall of looking young. People think, you know, like, I ain't fucking 25. Like, I mean, I'm still young, I understand. But, you know, I'm not that young. Yeah, I think he has to put my day in from last week. Yeah, I was scheduled 36.50 hours this week, and I worked 42.57. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little, hmm. I mean, I've been tired. I know I've been saying that, but. Oh, and there's another shift to claim. Whose is that? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Sorry, babe. Sometimes there's shifts in here. Who is giving up their Thursdays? Vanessa, I bet. That's definitely her. Why you hoes don't want to work is what I want to know. Who who paying our bills? Like the way these girls don't come to work, I'm like. I might just pick up that Thursday though. No, I can't because it's a close. Yeah, no, I can't do that to myself. That's crazy. But yeah, I um. Ooh, 
next week I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That's lit. Um, I don't have anything planned today. Um, I'm just, I'm really gonna try to relax because I, you guys know I struggle and I battle with myself about not being productive, but I don't have anything to do today. I have done all my content. I probably will be, this will probably be the last you see me for the vlog because I'm just gonna go up tomorrow and I have most of it already edited. I'm ready to go, so. But maybe if I do something later. The sun is out today, it's kinda nice. It's still cold, but like, it definitely would be walkable, you know? It's 44 degrees, but it's straight up sunny, not a cloud in the sky, so. You know, like if you stay in the sun, it's not so bad. And then I'll just put on like a hoodie or whatever. But we'll see. I might just lay here. <laughs> so if this is the last you see me, well, it won't be because I'll come on and end the vlog for sure. But we'll see. Okay, bye. Hey, guys. It's a little bit later on in the day. Um, I've been... Just relaxing and laying around, watching TikToks, and I ate some leftovers, and now I'm watching Will and Grace. I'm about to um, play The Sims for a little bit, but I just wanted to come on and end the vlog because I did say I would do that. Um, yeah, it's Saturday, so I'm going to end the vlog today just because tomorrow I'll start a new one, and... I'm planning to film some content tomorrow, so hopefully I wake up and I'm feeling, you know, good enough to do that. I'm a little, I don't know, I'm a little down in the dumps right now. I don't know where, I mean, I know what it is. So I still haven't gotten my period and I, um, I was scrolling through my TikTok yesterday and I just was like going through old videos and I had a, an old video. My battery died. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, I was um, scrolling through. Let me turn this down because I don't want no copyright fucking problems. I was um, scrolling through old TikToks, just kind of... I don't know, I do that. Sometimes I'll just go through, like, my old content just to see, like, what I look like. And, like, just, it's it's so weird, you know, because so much of my content was posted during really, really traumatic times in my life. And it's just, like, I'm, I'm just really strong. Like, I don't give myself credit, and I definitely don't give myself credit while I'm going through it. But for me to be able to put aside the bullshit that I was going through at that time <clears throat> and still put makeup on and dress up and make myself feel or look a certain way so that I could put out this content, like, it's just... I'm ready, like I'm ready for my, for it to be here, you know, like I'm ready. But um, <clears throat> I just had this one video, it was me um, hugging Julian and giving him a kiss and he's probably like 10 in the video, 11. So he's still like kind of chubby and like, you know, he still looks super, super young. I mean, he still looks young, but you know. Um. I don't know if you guys saw that he came to visit me uh, over uh, Labor Day weekend last summer and I hadn't seen him in a really long time before that um, because his father makes it impossible for me to co-parent with him because I can't send him money and um, you know it's not something that I as much as I would love to express how I feel, um, I don't feel safe doing that, you know, but um, 
if you're in my close friends on Instagram, I've shared some things on there and you know, I'm really, really praying that everybody that's in that group can be trusted with that information and isn't, you know, I mean, most of those people don't know him and don't know who, you know, Julian's dad is. So that's a good thing, but um, you know, it's still, it's a very tricky situation and it's a situation that doesn't have to exist because we're both adults and we both have the means to give this child what he needs mentally and emotionally and you know financially is important but it's the other things that are more important and it's like that's what I'm trying to give him and I'm I don't want to be on here crying again, but like, I'm gonna um go get in the shower right now and cry in there because then I can just get it all out, you know? Um, it's been a while since I talked to him. <laughs> It's just not fair. You know, I'm not a bad person. I'm not on drugs. I don't, I don't do anything that warrants not being allowed to communicate with my son. Well, that's how it makes me feel, you know? It makes me feel like I'm this terrible person and I don't deserve him. And I know, I know it's because they're scared of me. They're threatened by me. They know he wants me more than them. I'm his mother, period. And I have to remind myself of that constantly because I can get so dark about this. Like, but anyway, I'm sorry. This is not how I wanted to end this vlog, but I'm learning to just let my emotions happen. And I pray every day, I, I, be, I write my scriptures down. I just, I try to like, it's so weird. I don't know if it works, but I like, I try to like channel him and I try to send him love. Because I can't imagine what he, what him thinking that I don't care about him, how that could make him feel. Cause it's so not true. And I pray that all of the good things that we've done together, I hope that those things still are in his heart and he holds on to that and not the negativity that he's being fed. Yeah, I, um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna end this here now that I look crazy. Crying all my makeup off. I'm gonna go get in the shower, and, um, I'm just, I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day, so, well, night, it's night time now, but. I hope you guys like the rug. <laughs> and, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in next week's vlog. Well, I'll probably see you midweek. We'll do something. I'll upload something this week. And um, maybe like a get ready with me. Hopefully I get my period today. I think this is the day. <laughs> tonight. Because I'm super emotional today. Um, but yeah. Oh, I don't want to look like this when I end the vlog. I'm so sorry. But you know happens so i love each and every one of you guys and i'm so grateful to have people that actually want to see me do well and pray for me and just keep praying you know because i believe so strongly in god's power to restore and i 
I just have to keep reminding myself that I'm not, you know, everything is on his time. And there's a reason. And this hurts so bad, but I will I will be triumphant because I always am. I always am. Okay guys, I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up. No, you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I